Let's face it, it can be hard navigating the DMV even outside a pandemic, but many of you are stressed because your registration has expired, or in Mickey's case, she writes, I bought out my vehicle lease, this will be a new registration, and it can't be done online, and I can't find an open appointment on the registry site, what am I supposed to do? I looked into Mickey's issue and reached out to her. I log in, I try to get the appointment made, and there's no available dates, there's no available times. I showed Mickey this website where people can reach out to the DMV if they have been unable to schedule an appointment. I'll put a link to this page on the 12 response section of WPRI.com. But Governor Raimondo says people have time. Previously, I had announced 90 day extensions for anyone with expirations in the months of March and April. Now that we're also giving 90 day extensions for all expirations that come up in the month of May. But Mickey also raised a good question about what this all means to insurance. And the car's not registered, you know, if there's an accident, what's that gonna look like? You know, obviously, hopefully that won't happen, but it's a concern. A car insurance industry spokesperson tells me while the registration may have expired on paper, the governor's order extends it and means it has not. As long as the auto insurance policy itself hasn't expired, people will still have coverage. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.